Hi everyone, welcome to Pido Academy. Pido Academy is my YouTube channel. This is Siren. In this channel, I'm discussing about uh, database administration topic, especially Oracle or PostgreSQL. And we are also discussing about uh, cloud infrastructure in this channel, Linux administration as well. So today we are going to talk about uh, dynamic and static parameters in Oracle database administration. So actually, sometimes we need to change some parameters in the database and we always ask ourselves, is this change required downtime or not? Okay, so if you are changing a value of a parameter and it requires to restart the database, you need to book a downtime. So here we are going to discuss how to know if the parameter that you are going to change will require database to be bounced or not. Okay. Okay. Before jumping to today's topic, let me take you to my channel. Just have a look to my channel. So in case uh, you want to know about uh, restore point and flashback database, I've released a recording where I'm explaining what is restore point and flashback database concept. Okay, so I'm showing also in this uh, video a demo on flashback and restore point. And what are the most important use cases of restore point? For Oracle Client 19C installation on Windows, we'll find the re recording here. For 21C Rack RDBMS installation plus grid infrastructure management repository database upgrade. So you'll find the, the recording here. Okay. For Oracle Database 20C RDBMS and grid software download if you don't know how to download you'll find the recording here how to download for green infrastructure cluster upgrade to 21c so grid upgrade from from 19c to 21c you will find the recording here for 19c uh, july 2021 release update patches to grid home and rdbms home you will find the recording here. Also, I have released a recording about uh, OEM 13C installation on VirtualBox. Okay, I have done it in three phases. The first phase was Linux installation. The second phase was the database, the repository database installation. And then the third step was the actual installation of the OEM. Also, for Linux installation, Oracle Linux 8.4, installation on VirtualBox, on your VirtualBox, you, have, you find a step-by-step -step recording session here, okay? So now let's come to today's topics, okay? I will take you to Oracle, to Oracle website, where we are going to see the VDollar parameter dynamic view, okay? In the VDollar parameter dynamic view, you will find this column, is this modifiable, right? So if you want to know if the parameter is static or dynamic parameter, you need to go and check the is modifiable value of that parameter. So in case it is immediate, means the change of the parameter doesn't require you to bounce the database. Okay, the database restart is not required. The change will take effect immediately when you change the parameter. Okay. If it is different, it means it's actually session-wise. You need to change in using the alter session command. Okay, we'll practically see in the demo. If it is false, means the change of the parameter will need the DB restart. We need to restart the database when you change this. So now let me take you to my PC and show you practically. So this is my existing database instance. Okay. Okay, this is PDOA DB2. This is a two node rack database. So I've shut down the first instance just for this demo. Okay, so here let's see. Let me log in to the database. Now let's see what are the different values of ECS underscore modifiable para, uh, val, uh, field. 
in V dollar parameter. For that, select this thing, this is from V dollar parameter. So you have immediate, you have deferred and false. So you have these three values that we have seen here. Okay, immediate, deferred, and false. So if it is immediate, means the parameter can be changed on fly. It means the database, we don't need to restart the database. The change doesn't need any service downtime. Okay, so let's go ahead and see uh, some of the examples of this parameter. Show parameter. SGA underscore target. Okay. Let's say we are going to change the SGA target to 2 GB. Okay. Let's first see. Show parameter. SGA. We have here the SGA max size, which is 1 GB. The SGA underscore target size, which is 1 GB. So to be able to update, to change the SJ target to, G, to 2 GB, we need to first change the SJ max size. So what I will do, I will first check what, which one of these parameters require the DB restart. Suppose I don't know which one require DB restart. You don't need to memorize all the site. Just query the VDLA parameter view and then you will see. So for that, I will select, okay. I will select the name here and then I will select ECS modifier from Vidula parameter where name like SGA underscore percentage for a thirty. Okay. So I'm just formatting here. Okay, I'm just formatting the column. So here you have AG underscore max size, which is this is modifiable is false. Means to change AG underscore max size, you need to restart the database. This is a static parameter. AG underscore mean size is a dynamic parameter. AG underscore target size is a dynamic target. AG underscore target is a dynamic parameter. Okay, so now let's see, to change the SGA max size, you need to use the scope equal to SP5. You cannot use scope equal to both or scope equal to memory, right? Because it's not a dynamic parameter. So for SGA underscore max size, let's say we are going to put it 2 GB. Because currently the SGA max size is 1 GB. Okay, so I will do I test system set SGA max size equal to 2 GB. Okay. Scope equal to SP5. So this is how we change the static parameter. Okay. We have to use scope equal to SP5. If you use scope equal to memory, you will not work because it's a static parameter. Or if you use scope equal to both means memory and SP file, it will fail because it's not a dynamic parameter. Okay. So now let's see what is the parameter SGA. You see, we are still having the 1 GB until we reboot the instance then only this change will take effect right so let us restart the data the instance and see start up force so normally after the reboot if we check the max sg underscore max size it will be now 2 gb Remember, we are using the SP file. You cannot change the static parameter if you are using a parameter file. Okay? To change the static parameter, when you are using the parameter file, you need to 
update the parameter file and then restart the database. You need to manually, manually edit the P file and then change the value inside the P file and then restart the database. The database is up. Now let's see, show parameter. You see, now the value has changed to 2 GB after the DB restart. Okay, now let's see show parameter. Show parameter SGA. We are still having our SGA underscore target, which is 1 GB. Okay, since this is a dynamic parameter, we can also change it to 2 GB without restarting the database. Okay, for that, I tell system set SGA underscore target equal to 2 GB. Okay, you can specify scope equal to both because this is a dynamic parameter, right? So it will change in memory and you will also update in the SP file to update in both. Okay, so now if you show, do show parameter SGA target, show parameter SGA target, you will see 2 GB. Okay, so this doesn't require the DB restart, so this will take effect immediately. Now, let's see what are the parameters with different. Okay, select name, this is underscore form V dollar where. equal to different let's see where was that okay so we are seeing we want to check all the parameter you see here we have uh, backup tape io slave we have extra cycle bin we have session cache cursor we have audit file test we have sort area size let's see what is there in show show parameter session cache cursor currently the session cache cursor is 50. let's try to change this i test session reset session cache cursor to let's say 100 okay I session set okay session cash cash cost equal to 100 so we have changed the parameter session cash cost cursor show parameter now you will see 100 okay the change will be will affect the session the current session right if you exit now and then you log in again of course you will see the old value which is 50 because we are using a test session right you see that value will affect only that session you can change the let's try to see if you can change this using a test system okay at the system set session cursor cache equal to okay. scope equal to both okay you see we cannot use scope equal to both let's use scope equal to sp file Normally this will work, okay? You can see I'm able to change the cost of cash parameter to 100 using uh, Altair system, okay? Let now show parameter and see if we ch the change will affect immediately or not, okay? So if you use Altair session, at a session 
equal to 100 okay you will be able to after session set equal to 100 you will be able to change for this session only okay you see for this session i'm able to change if i exit and then log in the parameter is still having the old value you see still 50 until we restart the instance like here uh, because we set the parameter here using a test session a test system set to uh, 100 scope equal to sp file so actually in the sp file you will find this available in the sp file let's see if it is there in sp file create sp file create p file equal to slash tmp dot uh, from sp file let now see what's the content vi what we look into this file in this file you will search for cursor uh, session cache cursor right you see the parameter the value is set in the sp file means now if you reboot this instance this parameter will be uh, will will get the value 100 okay so let me save this now let's change it to a test system what is a test data test system okay let's change it to 200 200 scope equal to sp5 now let's create sp5 one sp5 one dot over from sp5 now let's check the content or let cut here and grab the cursor cache okay you see the cursor cache now in the p5 is having 200 okay so this is how different work if you want to if you want to the change to be affected immediately you need to use the alter session to change it for that session only but if you want to use if you are using a test system this required db restart so finally the conclusion is select this then this is from the dollar parameter so finally the conclusion is only immediate will take effect immediately it's a dynamic parameter these two are statics parameter okay any parameter having a value different to immediate it's a static parameter okay so with this i'm closing this session thank you very much for watching till the end so in this recording we have shown what is we have explained what is dynamic parameter and what are statics parameter in oracle database so now you can confidently go ahead and use this option or to verify if the parameter that you are going to change will require service downtime or not in your environment Thank you very much and see you in the next recording. Bye.